Do you have problems with money in your business? Do you believe that high sales mean your business is doing well? Do you sell on credit? If so, you're in the right place because in this video entitled Avoid These 5 Common Cash Flow Mistakes Business Owners Make, you'll learn how to make sure that your business is making enough to cover all your financial obligations and still have the money needed for your daily expenses. You will also learn to become wiser with your cash flow. Now meet my mentee, Joanne. Joanne is a wife of an OFW and owns a home-based bakery. Now here's her story. With her two kids already in high school, Joanne wanted to do something that will also help her earn some money. And so she thought of starting a business. Joanne loves to bake cookies, bread, and pies. So this gave her an idea to monetize what she enjoys doing. After a lot of convincing, Joanne managed to get her husband's yes to allow her to open a home-based bakery. So she started selling to neighbors, friends, and relatives, and everyone loved her creations. And with the money that she got from selling, she was able to buy more equipment so she could accept more orders. But because she could not say no to her friends and relatives, she began to sell on credit. Now, it was easier to get orders that way so that she thought it would help her sell even more. Well, she was wrong about it. Because her products always sold out, Joanne didn't notice right away that her business was already losing money. When some customers couldn't pay on time, she felt bad, but she continued to allow them to buy on credit. She was too shy to ask them when they'll pay. So whenever payday came and whenever her bills were due, Joanne would panic. She also struggled to pay her helper and buy supplies. So to cover these obligations, she had to take money from the monthly allowance for household expenses that her husband would send to her. For some time, she kept it a secret from her husband. But as the months went by and the more she needed to dig deeper into her family's allowance, her husband became suspicious, especially after she kept asking for an increase in their monthly allowance. Now, to make matters worse, her helper left her because she couldn't pay her on time. So, feeling like a failure, Joanne thought of closing her store. But if she closed it, then her husband would blame her. So, she did not really know what to do next. What could Joanne have done differently to keep her business going? When Joanne came to me for help, her business was already dying. With a negative cash flow, it would be hard to keep it alive. And so I told her, you need to go deeper by treating the root cause right away. How would I do that, Mommy N? She asked, looking even more confused. This is what I told her. You have to retrace your steps and find out what led you to this situation. You see, there are five common cash flow mistakes business owners like Joanne made. And what are these five mistakes? Listen well, okay? I'll also give tips for each mistake so you can manage your cash flow better. Ready? Awesome. Number one, investing too much too soon. It's tempting to buy a piece of new equipment or have your place upgraded when you have the money. But buying things that are not planned for and that are not in your budget hurts your cash flow deeply. The solution? Plan before buying and stick to your budget. Number two, selling on credit and not collecting fast. Now, be wary of selling on credit. Don't be like Joanne because it's the surest and the fastest way to affect your cash flow. It can even kill your business very quickly. So to solve this, it's better to have a smaller profit margin. And as long as you can sell fast and collect right away, you'll have the cash to buy more and more each time. Number three, using business money for personal expenses. I've heard a lot of horror stories from mentees about this. They believe that their business's money is their money. And this wrong belief is what's killing most Pinoy businesses. Here's what you should do instead. Separate business money from personal money. For your personal money, get a fixed monthly salary from your business. Now, let's go to number four, not having enough money for contingency. This is money that's reserved for, yes, you got that right, emergency. It's important to set aside a percentage of what you earn from your business. To avoid this mistake, create a goal amount so you'll know how much you'll be setting aside every month. This will be of great help on rainy days. And lastly, but not the least, number five, poor inventory management. Are you always out of stock? Are there too many slow-moving products that are eating up your space? These are just two causes of poor inventory management. In Joanne's case, she's dealing with perishable and fresh ingredients for her business. So to mitigate this, she has to start recording everything. She has to track how many of her baked goods are sold within the day, what ingredients she always needs replenishing, and so on. If you have experienced failure in your business, don't let that experience stop you from trying again. And if you're struggling, stay committed. Now you know better what to do, right? Remember, and always get in touch with your biggest why. Like Joanne, her biggest why to have a successful business is for her to be able to bring back her OFW husband for good so they can be complete as a family once more. Remember, selling success doesn't mean business success. You'll have to watch your expenses as well. This is Mommy and your Mommy Negosyo saying, Be business-minded, Pinoy! 